In the northwest corner of British Columbia lies a geological formation known as the Stikine Terrain, which hosts some of the richest gold ore bodies in the world. This area is so rich in fact that they call it the Golden Triangle. One of the first early discoveries was the Premier Gold Mine in 1918, which produced over 2 million ounces of gold and 45 million ounces of silver. At the time, some considered the Premier to be one of the greatest gold and silver mines in the world. Then, in 1986, came the high-grade SNP discovery. The SNP mine produced approximately 1 million ounces of gold from 1991 until 1999 at an average grade of 27.5 grams per ton. And shortly thereafter, in 1988, was the SK Creek discovery, where the infamous drill hole 109 returned a staggering 208 meter interval, averaging 27.2 grams per ton gold, 30.2 grams per ton silver, and over 1% lead and 2% zinc. The SK would go on to become Canada's highest grade gold mine and the world's fifth largest silver producer, with production well in excess of 4 million ounces of gold and 150 million ounces of silver. But due to the fact that the area had very poor road access, requiring everything to be flown both in and out, there was no access to power, and with gold only approximately $300 per ounce, if it wasn't a very high grade gold discovery like the SNP and the SK, then it was unlikely to be economical to mine. The area remained relatively dormant until recently, when four major factors have revitalized the Golden Triangle, and some would even say, started a gold rush. The first was paving of Highway 37, which now allows for easier access to the area. Next was the building of the major BC Hydro's 287 kV Northwest Transmission Line, supplying clean, reliable power to significant mining operations in the Golden Triangle. Another factor was the 2015 opening of Stewart's World Port in Canada's most northerly ice-free harbour. World Port's Deepwater Wharf provides modern facilities for bulk cargoes, including mineral concentrates. Direct access to the Pacific Ocean is given by the Deepwater Portland Canal. And the final factor is the price of gold. Moving from a low of $300 per ounce, adjusted for today's price, to approximately $1,200 today. These four factors are primarily the main reasons for the Golden Triangle once again becoming the hottest gold play in the world. This is seen by the fact of some companies having started production, or about to start production, several developing large deposits, along with numerous new discoveries.
it seems the next gold rush at the Golden Triangle has already started. Yet, despite this track record of new discoveries and mines being built in the area, a British Columbia government report estimates that only 0.0006% of the Golden Triangle has been mined to date. With many major junior companies rushing north to the Golden Triangle, any one of them could possibly make the next big discovery and become the next SK Creek.